So I was eating one of my favorite cereals the other day, Cocoa Pebbles, second to Fruity Pebbles. And as I was doing so, I was happy to glance at the back of the box to see, was there a fun puzzle or, or something that to do to pass the time? And then I saw this, pretty much a blank space for you to draw your dog, how it might look like as a dinosaur or, or your cat as a saber toothed tiger are all the boxes now like this? I mean, back in the day, there used to be little prizes that they would throw into the cereal, like in with the cereal. Uh, and it was probably deemed uh, unsanitary and choking hazards, so they wrapped it up in, in plastic and they now have pretty much gotten rid of it altogether. So the only kind of thing that I was looking forward to is the back of the box to actually do something creative. Always been used to seeing fun stuff like, um. Frosted Mini Wheats Little Bites has uh, this cool little game over here, and Honey Bunch of Oats has this um, little maze and word search. So, and I started going into my cupboard and started pulling out all the various cereals and uh, Frosted Mini Wheats. They just do a close up. Uh, this is their blueberry. This is their strawberry. Uh, Raisin Brand is doing a close up of the, um, the brand and, and the raisins. Cheerios is doing a close up of the oats. And I know that now kids are probably not looking at the back of the box as much as, as we did back in the day, but uh, still, it's kind of disappointing. and made me wonder how whoever came up with this concept got away with this at the pitch meeting, if there was a pitch meeting. And you know, then, if you know me, the pistons in my head start firing and then wondering what this meeting might have looked like and maybe a little something like this. All right, so that does it for the third quarter numbers. I like it, I like it. Let's move on to the box artwork on the... We still don't have Cocoa Pebbles. Should we start without Mike? Oh, I don't think he'd mind if we started without him. Yeah, let's do it. Exciting. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Brilliant. <laughs> let's go for it, man. All right. Who wants to go first? Oh, 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 can I go? Can I, can I, can I, can I go first? Honey bunches of oats. Oh, yes, okay. Um, so, as you know, uh, Honey Bunches of Oats is uh, full of um, oats and, and honey and uh, little clusters of, of crunchies. So I thought that we would focus on those pieces and scatter them throughout and have a maze. Well, what's that on the bottom corner over there? Oh, uh, this thing, <laughs> I, I had some extra time, so I just did, uh, did an extra uh, word search. <laughs> all right, all right. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Bar has been set. Okay, let's go with uh, Steven from Frosted uh, Mini Little Bites. What you got, Steven? Well, we start with our hero, Little Mini, as he will traverse through this chutes and ladders type of board game that I have created. And throughout this entire journey, he will be encountering many animals in this uh, fictitious mini zoo, so to speak. And I actually brought a friend of mine to help me describe some of the animals. Oh, God, it's Rufus know. again. Rufus, why don't you come on in? Oh, no. Hi there, Rufus. Now, who might our friend Minnie be encountering? Uh, say, see over there. Oh, what, what is this? Who's that over there? And, uh, that's right. And how about that? Those black and white horses. Zebra. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And then, oh, who are those pink animals over there? Those pink birds with those long, long legs. Could you tell all the boys and girls in the room what that would be? Flo that's right, just, just sound it out. Just sound it out. Flamingo. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Rick. Rice Krispies. Is... Rice Krispies. What else is there to say? Everybody loves us. Babies love us. They love gumming at our product until they get their little chompers in, right? Am I right? <laughs> uh, what else are we known for? Hmm? I'll give you three words. Butter, marshmallows, Rice Krispies. Why change? what has been working for decades. Rice Krispie Treats, but there's a little twist this month. Instead of just the plain old treat, kids can put a little frosting on there. We give them instructions on how to do that. Rice Krispie Treats again, huh? 
All right, you're starting to push it a little with that, uh, but I'll let it slide because I like icing. Okay, uh, let's hear from Chad. Exterior, open on a blue sky. We pan down into moving liquid. Is it the sea? Is it the ocean? No. It's a vast, swirling formation of milk. And as the waves start churning and building, crashing over and about to crash okay. into the waves, right. we zoom in. Not 50, not 100, but 100 billion, million times into a piece of mini wheat. And we can see the layers and the flakes and the caverns that the milk can go fill and swirl into. And guess what, bra? We're gonna do it for the blueberry. We're gonna do it for the strawberry. That's how it's gonna go, bro. Simple. I like it. Yeah, shaka! Oscar from Raisin Bran. Well, I have also, like my colleague, decided to focus on the magnification of my brand of cereal. However, unlike my colleague, I have the advantage of focusing on the raisin, the plump and juiciness of the grape that has been dehydrated, but will be voluptuously volumized once a splash of milk touches and rehydrates it as you eat it in the privacy of your own home. Magnifying, also. All right, but you got the raisins. Ah, excellent. Cheerios, dazzle me. All right, now like my friends over at Raisin Bran and Frosted Mini Wheats, I will be focusing on the close-up of the product. However, we're not doing it on a magnification level, we're doing it on a subatomic level. Focusing on the main ingredient of the Cheerio, which is the oats. Now this is what Ant-Man would see if he pressed that button on his thumb and went shoo! Microscopic pieces of oat. Okay. See this heart-shaped ball? Good for your heart. Now say it with me. Say yes to this idea and you get Bowl Callahan. Say it with me! Do you want me to... You get Bowl Callahan. Uh, Bowl Callahan? That's what I'm talking about. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, thanks, Tom. Oh, uh, oh, oh sorry. Hey. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Mike, glad sorry. you could join us. A lot of traffic. <laughs> Actually, you're uh, right on time. We're going over the box artwork on the uh, back of the box. Uh, what you got for us today? Oh, that, that's today? Um, uh, well, I thought that we would maybe uh, zoom in on the... No, 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 no. We, we've got already three different types of magnification. Somebody already... Yeah, look, I gotta get on a plane in about uh, half an hour, so just, just turn your box around. Just show me what you have. Hmm. <clears throat> um... Why is it blank? Well, I, I thought that we could uh, have the, um, the, the the kids just draw like or whatever they wanted on back of the box. Why don't you just print out a picture of the Flintstones, overlay a puzzle template in Photoshop, and have the kids just cut it apart and put it back together like a puzzle? Yeah, that's a really, really good idea. Um, but, but, but I, I think that this way, uh, we could, um, yeah, we, we, we could save on the, the printing, uh, ink costs money, graphic designers cost money, and this would really help towards our bottom line for, uh, <clears throat> fourth quarter. Huh. Yeah, no, I, uh, I don't like it. Because I love it! Really? You guys see what Mike just did there? He saved us like, like hundreds of dollars in printing costs. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Awesome. <laughs> genius. Yeah, I would say I'm a genius. <laughs> Your words. You know, I, I think, in fact, next quarter, we should all maybe think about doing something similar to what uh, Mike's got going over there at Cocoa Pebbles. Such crap. I know. Uh, what just happened? I like it. Excuse me? <laughs> of course. Typical Americans. All right. Next item. Prizes we're going to put into the boxes. Oh, wait. We're not doing that anymore. Meeting adjourned.